Say hi. Say welcome to Alive with Ariana. Say hi. Blow kisses. Mwah. Say welcome to Alive with Ariana. Hi, welcome to Alive with Ariana. I am Ariana, of course. I am your favorite psychic medium. If you have been to my channel before, I want to welcome you back. And if you are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium and I am able to go beyond the veil of life and death with spirits that are sometimes inviting and sometimes not so much. So let's go ahead and get into this Tell My Story. Now, this Tell My Story edition, I wanted to completely review um, with you guys because I have some breaking news that is... Um, very bittersweet. It is um, very, it's it's a joyful thing in my eyes and I am going to connect with the person to see if she, how she feels and see if she wants to talk or say more than what she has to. Now, what I did, I covered her story a couple of months back, maybe a month or so back, about this girl named Katrina Bowden. She went missing and her story you can go back, but she was able to tell the significant details to where she was and what happened. Well, I received um, communication through the Department of Cleveland Chief Examiner's Office. You know, the office where they receive bodies and they get information about bodies and they try to get details as to who the person so they can contact the correct family members about the person's death. Now, what I am about to tell you guys is going to be breathtaking. So, when I received this email, I was a little confused about why I got the email, but then as I began to read, I noticed that this was very, very serious. So, a lot of the times in my reading, I am able to connect with um, officials, celebrities, even family members that just want the significant details to what happened to their child or daughter or brother or, yeah, to their significant others. In this communication that I received from them, I was, I'm telling you guys, I was blown away. So I received the email probably about two weeks after I did the story. Now, the story with Katrina, she did get into a relationship with a guy. She did mention his name was Terrence or Terry or something with a T, I remember. And um, she mentioned that he was the one that was responsible for her death and missing. Now, she was very, very detailed about where she was located. She said that she was located in an abandoned building. Um, a gas station, those were very, very important. A shell and um, a pearl, I remember seeing. It's very hard for me to recall because once I do my stories, nine times out of ten, I just cannot recall the information. It just doesn't happen like that. If I am in the present moment with the spirit and the spirit gives me the information, then I am able to tap in. So, with her story, she was able to tell a lot of details to where she was. Well, um, you guys, I received the contact about two weeks after, and it was very detailed that was, it was details that I just cannot even go over in this. I am going to pull up the information that I did receive so you guys can see and know that this is not a joke. This is something that's true. Now, I don't know if the family has been notified about Katrina. I don't know if any of her friends have been notified about Katrina. I just know that I received some top information from the examiner's office. They reached out to myself in regards to this story because my details were so uncanny and so matching that it matched everything that they received. Now, I did um, get to speak with someone. They told me that, I'll just put it up here so you can see. So what was said was that, now to protect the, I don't wanna say to protect, but to 
make sure that everything is in its rightful place and rightful manner. I will not tell you who actually called me from the medical examiner's office in Cleveland, Ohio, but I will say that this information is very true and accurate. They received the body on um, 8 7 19 and it was in the exact location, the exact details, as well as a lot of the information that they had. Now, the body that they found was unidentifiable, but there were a lot of um, details that led them to believe, or led, yes, that led them to believe that it was Katrina Bowden. Now, um, this person reached out to me because they saw that that I, or my information was very true and very accurate, that they decided to continue to watch the whole video and what they found in my video and what they found that was connected with the unidentified body was very, very, very close. Now, there is no guarantee right now at this moment because I am still waiting to hear back if they have made a positive ID, but what I can tell you is this, they are still working on identifying it. This is per the chief medical examiner's office in Cleveland, Ohio. But yes, they told, basically they're using the information that I did give them to try to identify. Now, I don't know how long this can take. Some of the details that I mentioned about the, her story probably won't be shared to the media, but it will be public information soon. I just want you guys to know this because I know this ahead of time. Now, the details there were very, very close. The gasoline, the abandoned building, it was water all over the place. This building had been around for a very long time. It was supposed to be torn down or is set or due to be torn down in the community and some things never happened. So I want you guys to know that this is not public record just yet because I believe it's still under investigation. But um, I wanted to let you guys know that I have it, I have the communication here, and the details that I spoke about with her are very, very, very close to being very accurate. Okay, I cannot confirm nor deny that it is Katrina, but I have a significant amount of support from the Chief Medical Examiner Office in Cleveland, Ohio regarding the case. And what I can say is that this case is probably one of my most popular cases that I can say is possibly solved. I cannot say that it is solved yet because I believe it is still under investigation, but I feel very confident in knowing things in the spiritual aspect of things that the case um, has come to a complete rest. I hope you guys can find it in your heart to pray for the families and still for the victim of Katrina. May she be at peace with love, light, and blessings. If you would like your own personal reading, please visit www.alignwithariana.com and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more details, for more goodies, for more working your magic. Peace. Blessings. Why do?